Today we're talking Twitter and how to attend a Twitter party. Key ingredients for attending a Twitter party include having a Twitter account and the party information. You need to know the hashtag. You need to choose a Twitter party tool. Then you need to participate and have patience with the entire experience. This is my Twitter page and you can see all of the different things that I have uh, available to look at when I am on my Twitter page. I can look at the different tweets that I have. So this is just my list of most recent tweets by me. This little green arrow on the side means that I have retweeted someone's tweet. So um, you can see here that I retweeted Ashley, I retweeted Izzy being Jennifer, etc. I can also go to discover and this is where I can put in hashtags that I want to follow. I'm a member of the Momovation Sisterhood, so I often will check in on my Momovation friends. You can see here, as I suggested in the explanation of Twitter, that a hashtag is like a category. And here you can see Mark Zegdi and some of the other members of Momovation. Family Adventure, Rachel Havager, Pam Kramer, etc. Using the hashtag as a means to make sure that their tweet goes into the same category so they can all see each other. There are three Twitter party tools that you can use to attend a party. One option is to use tweetgrid.com. Some people prefer tweetchat.com, and yet others, like me, prefer tweetdeck.com. Here is a screenshot, basically, of my tweet deck during three or two parties. I was also looking at the Bully No More hashtag as I was working with these parties. I was part of the TBW, or the blog workshop party, and I was also uh, involved in the Craft Yellow party. Each of these hashtags helps me keep up with the different tweets that are coming in using that hashtag and you can see that they just move as people tweet using the hashtag. So to get myself set up for a Twitter party and to add a hashtag to my tweet deck, let's look first at the components of the tweet deck. I can have multiple columns and you can add columns up here at the top. My first column is generally going to always be my home column. This is just all the people that I follow and this is what's coming up as I am sitting here with my tweet deck. My second column generally is my interactions column. These are all people who have tweeted at me or have followed me. My third column is one that I already had set up for Momovation. Again, I follow the Momovation hashtag and want to keep up with my friends that way. But tonight I want to make sure that I am prepared for my Bully No More party. So I'm going to type in the hashtag that I know goes with the party and the search and then I can add this column as you can see here for add column when I do that it shows up on the very far right and the cool thing about it is that as people tweet it's going to refresh much like my home column there in the beginning is doing now if it starts to move really quickly and I see one that I really wanted to read, I can scroll down a little bit, I can find it, and actually what happens is it keeps me where I am once I've scrolled down, it keeps me where I am so that even the new ones don't stop me from reading where I was. If I want to reply to someone from the tweet deck, it's very easy. All I need to do is, like right here, I want to reply to Rebecca. So I can just click on that reply and it automatically puts in Rebecca's Twitter handle plus the Twitter handle of anybody that she included in the tweet. I'm going to add my tweet in and to make sure that it's part of that same conversation and stays in the same category. I'm going to include my hashtag. You'll see that my tweet goes up in multiple places. Not only does it go up in, in Momovation, but it went up in my very first column, my home column. For those of you relatively new to Twitter, don't let Twitter parties scare you. And if you need extra help, be sure to tweet at me.
You can find me online at Twitter with at LidsRich or on my blog at ClutterGenius.com.